Hello, my name is Mr Curtis, Faculty Leader for PE and Sport at Prince Henry's Grammar School. So the purpose of this video is to try and answer some of the, the questions that, that we often have from Year 6 parents about uh, various things to do with sport and PE um, as the students move and transition into, into Year 7. So uh, I hope you find this, this useful. Um, first of all, PE kits. There is a kit list available in your transition pack and it's also available on Prince Henry's website under parents, carers and uniform. Um, this new kit was introduced last year and has compulsory and optional items available for boys and girls. It's supplied by Price and Buckland and can be ordered online to be delivered to your home or it can be purchased at JR Sports in Otley. Uh, Price and Buckland have a, a really clear sizing guide on the website and orders need to be made this year by the 12th of July to guarantee um, delivery time. They've had a few issues in terms of their warehouses with the ongoing um, pandemic that we are, are currently experiencing. I would strongly advise that you, that you choose the option of personalising the kit that you purchase, which means that your son or daughter will have their initials on the kit. Uh, I would also name all the kit in addition to that on the labels of the permanent marker so that it can be returned to them if it's lost. Each term we have an enormous amount of lost property um, that gathers and, and is given to local charities eventually if it's not if it's not collected. If it has your name in it, we go through each item individually and, and if it has a, a student's name in it, we, we generally give it back to them in, the, in their next PE lesson um, or at least ask them if they've lost something and then uh, and then make them come and come and collect it. So um, if, you, if your child does lose something, our lost property is open before school Monday to Thursday um, and all your son or daughter would need to do is come to um, swimming pool side and ask for Mrs Wilson who will um, happily take them down to have a look in lost property. <coughs> um, in terms of kit, it's compulsory for students to, to wear appropriate PE kit even when it skews from physical activity so that they can coach and assist in the lesson. So, so the students will bring the PE kit that they're supposed to be wearing for that, for that lesson to every single lesson regardless of whether they are taking part in the lesson fully or not. Um, long, um, long hair must be tied back and all jewellery needs to be removed which is certainly something to think about if you think about getting ears pierced to, and please do it at the start of the summer holidays rather than towards the end we need to remove all jewellery before we take part in any in physical activity um, if a student forgets their kit they will be required to borrow a spare kit and um, all they would need to do is bring their planner to the, the PE teacher and we would take them to our spare kit cupboard and we've got quite a lot of spare kit in there from boots to trainers to socks, boot, uh, shorts, tops, etc, etc. Um, after feedback this year from students and parents um, and discussions of staff, girls can wear the Prince Henry sports leggings, not other brands or types without wearing a score or shorts over the top if they wish to. They still need to, to purchase a score or shorts as one of those compulsory items of kit which you'll see on the kit list. Um, we are incredibly fortunate to have a, a swimming pool at school. We, we strongly believe that all Prince Henry students should leave Prince Henry's as competent swimmers. Therefore, if a student misses more than two swimming lessons, they'll attend a, a lunchtime catch-up swim on the following week, which is a Wednesday when we have our open swim club on. If a student misses more swimming lessons than that, then they will be moved into the next available swimming group to catch up. Students will be forewarned when they have swimming, obviously, um, so they know to bring in the correct kit, which would be swimming costume, shorts that, that don't go below the knee for boys, a towel and goggles. Um, lessons, there will be two one-hour lessons of PE each week and we try to offer a variety of activities within those lessons. This last year, students took part in seven different activity blocks throughout the year. Um, they also had the opportunity within lessons um, to compete against other form groups within their year group in, in, a, in a huge variety of interform competitions from um, your traditional team sports like rugby, uh, football, netball to badminton, table tennis, swimming, um, cross country, cheerleading, gymnastics. So we try to put on as many different activities as we can to, to try and engage as, as many different students as, as we can. Um, each activity block that we, we do generally lasts between four and five weeks or, or eight to ten lessons and then we would move, rotate onto, onto the next activity. 
Um, we build on what we do in year seven badminton. We would build on that in year eight. So in year eight, they would do different activities in, in badminton to what they've done in, in year seven, for example. And that's that's the same for, for all activities. We usually work in single sex setted groups throughout key stage three. Um, use, using information from, from primary school teachers as well as our, our um, member of staff, Miss Fenton Green, who, who works in quite a lot of our feeder primary schools. And then we always do our own baseline assessments and baseline judgments throughout September to, to put the groups together. Um, and then those groups are never set in stone. There are some students who are quite shy, quiet at the start of the, of the year and really sort of come out of their shell partway through the year. So we, we do constantly change the groupings throughout the year to make sure that they are uh, the students are in, are in the most appropriate group for them. Um, student planner has got quite a lot of really important information for PE actually, notably knowledge organisers which we use in lessons. The kit lists and the extracurricular consent form which must be completed if you wish uh, for your son or daughter to take part in extracurricular sports um, or activities for school. This year we'll be using a new app as well called Squad in Touch. Um, more information about that obviously nearer the time, which will allow you to see what clubs your son or daughter has signed up to and when the training sessions are and um, upcoming fixtures. Lots of information on there about, about where we will be going, how we'll be getting there, etc. Et uh, for all our extracurricular, we, we get coaches or minibuses to the away fixtures parents are very welcome to come and watch in fact we actively encourage parents to come along and watch most of our fixtures take place um after school uh, and, a, and a finish sort of between five six o'clock depending on how far we have to travel we also have some rugby some cross country and some netball that runs on saturday mornings through throughout the year um we offer an enormous amount of, of extracurricular at Prince Henry's and we, we welcome all students along um, regardless of their ability. It is an open door policy. Um, every club, we will not turn anybody away and they run during lunch times and, um, and after school from 3 till about 4.15, 4.30. We compete against other schools in a, in a, in a large number of activities um, and we also run a rugby netball tour that goes to South Africa every two years, taking in excess of 80 students each time. We obviously have a rich history in excelling in both rugby and netball uh, at Prince Henry's, but we also pride ourselves on, on offering a rich variety of, of other sports and, and activities and, and we encourage all students to get involved in at least one extracurricular club. Um, to, to give a few examples, apart from your traditional team sports like football, rugby um, and netball, we offer swimming clubs, we offer rowing club, we offer badminton, table tennis, cross country, um, dance, we have a cheerleading group um, and uh, we have a hockey club that runs as well. And so we, we try to we try to adapt and, and we've had some strength and conditioning work going on with, with certain groups as well this year. We've we run a dodgeball club as well. Um I missed that one out. But um we we, we always get um feedback from students about, about clubs that they would like to see running and, and we try to where we physically can put clubs on that, that the students want to do. So um, it's very much an open door policy and, and we'd strongly encourage you, your son or daughter to come along and get involved. Um, not only for physical and mental health benefits, but also in terms of helping them to, to settle in. They get to meet a whole uh, range of different different people um, from across their year group, not just people within their form um, group. So it's a, it's a really good way to, to help them settle into to secondary school. Um, I'll send out some more information in September with regards to, to the actual activities and the club lists etc etc and what you, your son or daughter will be doing in lessons. hope you found this video useful um, please don't hesitate to, to get in touch if you've got any questions through info at, at princehenrys.co.uk and uh, I'll endeavour to, to answer any questions put my way. Okay, Thank you.